What's up you guys? I'm Kay. I am a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I also sell a little bit on Depop. It's been quite a while since I've filmed in this spot. This is my laundry room. You can see my lovely and ugly water heater behind me. This giant shelf full of board games um, that me and my daughter play. Um, but I thought maybe it was a good time for me to do kind of like a weekend day in my life vlog. I see a lot of these from full-time resellers, but it, I don't really see a lot of it for part-time people like me. So obviously I am not working today. It is a Saturday morning. I am getting some shipping done. Uh, I sold, I don't have the picture because I already put it in this uh, padded flat rate envelope, but I sold a pair of Outen, I think that's sold at Target underwear. It's like a three pack, I believe. I got this in a fun box and I sold it on Poshmark for $12. Um, I have a couple things to pull from the shed. I've been slacking on listing completely. I don't think I've listed anything all week. So we'll probably do some of that in here. Um, run to the post office if I can't catch my mailman before he comes um, because it's a little bit late in the morning. It's like 10 a.m. and you know, the post offices in this area close at noon. So um, usually he comes around 11.30. Hopefully I can catch him. But anyway, we'll see where the day takes us. Um, so tag along. Okay, before I take you out to the shed to pull the other two orders that I had on Poshmark, um, I do have one eBay sale. Like I said, I haven't been listing, so my eBay store has been basically running at a snail's pace. Um, but these are the Polar Cruiser 3. They are stainless steel spikes for like ice climbing or hiking in the snow. Um, I got these from the bins ages ago. Um, so I think my cost was around a dollar and they sold full price on eBay for $19.99 plus shipping. Don't mind my mess of a yard, folks. I recently got my grass um, aerated and um, seeded so that I could try to kind of grow down in these corners and over here. So it's a little bit of a mess right now, but uh, hopefully by the springtime we'll be good to go. All right, let me try and open this with one hand holding a camera and a phone. The struggle's real. Please be advised, my shed is still messy, as you can see. Um, but my storage is still looking pretty good and it's working well, so that's a plus. Okay, so I inadvertently lied to you earlier when I said that the out and underwear pack that I sold on Poshmark for $12 was a three pack. It's actually a six pack. Um, they're white and then two green patterns. You can kind of see them here. Um, but let's pull the other two things that I sold. So the first one is a Koala Kids Jack-O-Lantern Halloween costume, where at the end of September, perfect time to sell Halloween costumes. Um, it's a nine to 12 month size. This actually came from my nail lady. Uh, she gave me a bunch of stuff that she wanted me to sell for her and we were gonna split 50-50 um, for the consignment. Um, so it only sold for $10. I think I had it listed for 12. So the earnings is 705 and then I will split that with her. So let me pull that. It's number 479, which is gonna be the bottom most bin because that's as far as my numbering goes right now for clothing. And here it is, number 479. There's the label. You can see the little jack-o'-lantern face kind of in here. And then the other thing I sold on Poshmark sold for $25. I recently listed it within the last week and it's a Bowdoin Coral the Linen Button Up Shirt. I got this at the Garment District. I will link that video um, in the cards. And this is SKU number 330, sold for $25. My cost was zero because I had the gift card from Lori Tata. All right, so we got both things, the jack-o'-lantern outfit and then the Bowdoin top, 330, 479. That was easy to pull. Like I said, haven't been listing, so it's only a couple sales, but you know, they're getting out the door, so let's go back inside. By the way, guys, this is not sponsored, but if you haven't 
looked at Shipping Hip and the new fall and Halloween mailers they have out. I'm obsessed with them. I got this pumpkin one. Uh, that's what I put the Bowden shirt in. And then I got this spooky Halloween one. And that's what, you know, appropriately the little kid's Halloween costume is in. They also have a mushroom one, which I have over there underneath my laptop. You can kind of see my squishmallow storage behind me and some other hard goods um you're on my washer right now but again not sponsored i actually use ginger marvin's code um it's ginger 15 i believe um for 15 percent off so i use her code not sponsored by them but hey if you're watching this and you want to sponsor me I love your mailers but yeah they're my favorite ones that I've used because they're a little more sturdy than the ones I had been using which were compostable and you know I do try my best to be environmentally friendly I don't put any extra packaging usually in my sales unless you know it's a hard good and a breakable and it needs bubble wrap and all of that good stuff but like I don't use clear plastic suffocation bags or any of that for my inventory I just take them out of the Ziplocs that they are in in my storage bins and then I put them in a poly mailer for most things, you know, light clothing, stuff like that. So I do recommend them. All right guys, so I actually just saw my mailman pull down my road so I'm good there. I don't have to run to the post office today. Um, he'll just grab my four packages from my mailbox. So what I'm gonna do right now is this is everything that I showed you guys in yesterday's episode of my Friday Thrift Find series. Um, if you watch that video, you'd know that I didn't take the tags off any of this stuff. So I have to now put it in my inventory spreadsheet so that when the items hopefully sell, I can just easily go in there and see what I paid. Um, I don't do an average cost of goods for these purposes. I just do them so that you guys will know what the average is because that's how a lot of you do your own inventory. Um, but I don't, I just take the actual physical price of that specific item. So in this case, these um, Aricia Wilfred pants, they were $8.99. So I find them on my spreadsheet right here. Um, with my discount, I paid $7.19, so I will put the date that I purchased them, which was $9.23 because it was yesterday. And then I'll type the name of the item and then put in the price $7.19. And then I will move on. So you guys will be seeing this sped up footage of me doing that, and I'll probably put some music in. So let me get that done, and then we can move on to the next. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. Everything is logged in my spreadsheet. I'm gonna get rid of the tags, finish this juice. It's just V8 juice. It's like the peach mango flavor. And then I'm going to put these two receipts with the rest of my other ones. So come tax time, I have everything available at my fingertips. Okay, so my hair is getting wilder by the minute. I've been using 
a new shampoo and then not putting any product in my hair and just letting it air dry so it just goes where it wants to go um, and it's getting a little bit warm and I have a hoodie on uh, so it's gonna probably go this way as we film but I have the pile of clothing I just put in my inventory spreadsheet right next to me over here I have my available SKU numbers for my inventory bags ready to go I have a tape measure so that I can measure the jeans and I have a notebook so what I'm gonna do is just batch photo all of these items take any measurements that I need and then I'll also put the available SKU number for those items so that when I list them I can just put the SKU number and then in the meantime I can get these items in the bags and then out to my shed so they're not you know congesting all over my house I have a small home it's about a thousand square feet um, and I'm coming from a three bedroom apartment um, prior to purchasing this home which is my first home so it's a lot um, we definitely downsized even though we probably needed to upgrade a little bit but it is what it is this is where I am for right now so please enjoy some more ambient music in the background while you watch the sped up footage by the way I have an iPhone and I just take all my photos in square mode and then just upload them to eBay. I list to eBay first. I don't use a cross-listing service. I do everything manually and I'm a one-woman show so it takes me a little bit more time but I have this pile of clothes. I also have right next to it um, a thread up shoe box that I already unboxed on this channel so I have quite a bit to list. I also have another hidden pile behind this leather armchair that I'm padding right now so I have a lot of stuff to get done. to change my setup just a little bit to do the pants because they're a little bit longer and I have only a tiny little space over here um, but for this playboy shirt that you can barely see on the screen but it was in my last thrift haul video and it's labeled as a medium large but because it's vintage um, it's very small so I'm just gonna take some quick measurements I don't typically do measurements except for jeans just because, like I said, I'm a one woman show, so it can be a little bit difficult to say the least to manage all of that. All right, so for these, I'm going to start packing them in my Ziplocs for inventory. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys do for inventory. I love to see everybody's different setups. Um, also, let me know what you do for photos. Um, I do not have the available space to take photos on a wall. I used to, um, but it's, uh, it's just not feasible right now in this space. So I have to kind of work around that. And although it's not ideal because, you know, kneeling down on my knees as a 
mid 30s 30 year old person is not exactly forgiving on my body um, it's just what I have to do right now just to make it work Maybe if time allows, today we can stop at a thrift store quick. I do have a tote full of stuff to donate. I already put it in the back of my car earlier this morning, so it's ready to go. And you just got stuck in the zipper. And again, I was going to get the Ziplocs with the slidey closure, but I didn't just because in my experience they get stuck and then they break. So I went with Target up brand double, uh, double closure instead. They work fine. I don't know how many uses I'll get out of them, like how many times I'll be able to open them, take something out, put something different in there, but we'll see. I think we're going on like close to six months, I wanna say, maybe less. I can't remember uh, when I did that video. I think it was in the springtime um, when I redid my whole inventory storage. Um, I will link the video if you haven't seen it. If I still can link videos, I think there's a limit for how many videos you can link. So if you don't see it there, um, I can put it in the description. This I forgot to show in yesterday's haul. It was hiding in the bag, um, but it's from the same day. This is a Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon little crop tee. It's a size extra large and it has like this fun little lettuce hem on the sleeves and on the bottom, which I like. Um, I love picking up graphic band tees, um, even though they don't really sell the best for me anymore. They did have a few different Pink Floyd tees at that store. This is the only one that I picked up. Um, it's just, it's very oversaturated for Pink Floyd, but I thought this one was a little bit different, so I decided to pick it up. I think it was $3.99. Oh, stretch. I still have to figure out what style this Lululemon jacket is hopefully it doesn't take too much time on lulu fanatics it can be kind of difficult to find stuff sometimes um especially if you're looking for like a tank top because they have so many different styles um, but i can almost always find it on there it just takes a little bit of a time investment so to speak this jacket will fit in my gallon size bags, but we'll try. And if not, I do have a couple um, larger ones. It might fit. Emphasis on the might. Because it's cropped, I think that's, and an extra small, I think that's the only reason why it's gonna fit in this size bag. in the world in you that you can close. See? You did it. I'm proud of you, Vince Jacket. 
Okay, let me regroup so I can figure out how I'm going to do the pants in this area. I'll just probably have to reorganize some stuff, but I'll see you in a minute. Okay, sorry for all of the location changes, but I think this is the only area that's going to work um, to do the pants, and I have to stay closer to this side because my front door has made this glorious ball of light on my floor. So we'll see how this goes. Again, enjoy some music. Sé lo que quiero, eh, verme abajo, pero no puedo, yeah, yeah. Nunca confunde el amor, la plata y las mujeres, eh, vicio los fajos, eh, y los placeres, yeah, eh. Por eso estoy bien, bien. Alaca como Axe, para los airbags, el que para ti no hay, si no eres de aquí, no te quieren nada. No. Pero cuando entro no es la autoridad, me luce bien los nacos, no te quedan a ti, son un wannabe, lo quería decir, no real chico. Como creciendo, todos quieren lo que vendo. Eh, tú eres un juego y te lo gano Nintendo. Eh, sube el rango y tú vas haciendo el asfalto. Es que llora tanto que te hundí en el fango. Yeah, ya no va, si no di, no se da, no se da. Ey. Y tú vas haciendo el asfalto. Ya no va, si no di, no se da, no se da. Arranca como vas para los herbas. Para ti no es, si no eres de aquí, no te quieren nada. No. Pero cuando entro no es la autoridad, me luce bien los nacos. No te quedan a ti, son un wannabe, lo quería decir, no es real. A la que como vas, para los airbags. Es que para ti no es, si no eres de aquí, no te quieren nada. No. Pero cuando entro no es la autoridad, me luce bien los nacos. No te quedan a ti, son un wannabe, lo quería decir, no es real. Yo soy hardcore, yo le llevo Y tu mierda alimenta mi ego De la calle, como tego Paso firme, paso ciego, yeah You already know what I mean Soy una historia sin fin, yeah Aquí ya tienen su kine Que nació con el bling La fama, me rebrillan como la cubana Cubana, chama Me quieren pero en su cama Que drama, todos los fines de semana La dejo pero bien sana Como salida del sauna Húmeda como la fauna Ya no va, si no di, no se da no se da, ey. Y tú besando el asfalto, ya no va. Si no di, no se da, no se da, ey. Alaska como Axe, para los airbags. Es que para ti no hay, si no eres de aquí, no te quieren nada. Pero cuando entro no es la autoridad, me luce bien los nacos. No te quedan a ti, son un wannabe, lo quería decir, no es real. Alaska como Axe, para los airbags. Pero cuando entro no lo Tony Dark, me lo sentí en No te quedan a ti, son wanna be. Lo quería decir, no es real G. Okay, now that the pants are all photographed and measured, I'm gonna put these in some inventory bags and check the pockets in the meantime, just in case there's, you know, some lost money in there that I can find. And then we'll move on to the next task. Um, Still sweating, but I refuse to put on the central air because it's September 24th and I live in New England and this is not the time for the air. <laughs> um, I just need to take off this hoodie and change so we can go out. I do have to make a return to Lowe's and pick up a different sprinkler for my yard um, because I have like a weirdly shaped yard and my shed is kind of in the way. So it makes it difficult to find something that can properly water. I also only have one spigot and my main yard is on the other side of the house. My main yard's over here, the spigot's over here in the front, which makes my life even more difficult and there's not enough water pressure to run the sprinklers both places. So I gotta try and figure something out for that. Hopefully they'll have something that'll work. Um, I don't even know if they will, but here's to hoping. Um, like I said, maybe we can stop by the thrift quick and come back and get some stuff listed 
to close out this video because I mean just because I photograph them doesn't mean that I'll actually take the time to sit down and get them listed usually on the weekends I try to take off from reselling completely because Normally during the week, I am working my full-time job and then going right into reselling stuff. Oftentimes on my breaks from work, I'm doing reselling stuff. So on the weekends, I try to just get everything else that I need to do in life done, work on my house, spend time with my daughter when she's not with her dad. Uh, so yeah, this weekend she is away with him. So. That means I guess I can devote some time to reselling tasks and not feel as guilty about it, if that makes sense. Um, you parents out there, I'm sure you can relate. Sometimes I don't know how anyone, even a single person without kids, gets this done because reselling is not easy even though some people try to make it seem like it is. It's a lot of work. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know how some of us do it all, regardless of whether you have kids or not. So kudos to all of you out there that are doing the damn thing. All right. I don't have enough bags for all of these pants that have available SKUs. So what I do in that situation is I just use blank Ziplocs with no number and then store them in a bag in my shed until there is a time when I have a bag with a skew on it to put it in there. All right, so that's all the SKUs that I can do with my available bags in the sizes that I need. I have plenty of these little small ones, um, but they won't fit these pants. So without further ado, we'll see you in the next clip. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna have my delicious and nutritious lunch of leftover buffalo chicken calzone um, and watch an episode of the challenge while I have my sprinkler in the side yard going, which is what you just heard. And then we'll go to Lowe's in the thrift store and come back and hopefully get some items listed. So I'll see you then. Hello from voiceover K and welcome to Savers. I started out in the activewear section. Um, I didn't get too much footage to be honest with you guys because it was completely packed in there and filming in public gives me anxiety um, but I tried to get at least a little bit so that you could see that I did actually go to the thrift store. Um, I do pick up these SoulCycle Lululemon leggings. I'm trying to find the size dot, size 4. They were $10.99. Uh, this is another pair of Lululemon, but these ended up staying behind because they were a crop length and I'm trying to stay away from those. These Gym Sharks had a nice stain in the crotch area and no size tag, so for $9.49, those stood behind. Now we're in the jeans. Fall time is a great time to pick up jeans. They've been selling for me. I love the 90s boyfriend style, but $14.49 for American Eagle was just a little bit too much for me. Here's another pair, the Curvy Mom Jean. Again, $14.49. Even with 20% off, that's just more than I'm willing to pay for that style and brand. Honestly, not all that much left in there. Uh, there is a hidden gem in this shoe section. Let me know in the comments if you can spot it. You guys will have to wait to the haul on Friday though to find out what it is. And here we are in long sleeve knits and I am about to find a brand I had never found before. Uh, spoiler, I do pick this up. And we got the goods. All right, so my hair went this way like I said it was going to. Um, I spent about two hours in the store, a little bit less, and I spent right around $78. I think it was $77.95. Nothing super exciting, but I did find a brand that I have never found before that I heard good things about, so I am excited to try that. Uh, I did pick up one t-shirt for my daughter and one t-shirt for myself. Not that either one of us 
needs more t-shirts um, taking up residence in our closets but you know uh, I'm not going to share the items with you just yet because by the time this video goes up you guys will just have a couple days probably to wait for the Friday thrift finds episode where I will show you all of the good stuff um, I'm at Lowe's right now to do that return of the sprinkler and try to find another one that might possibly work for my yard at home and then I'll be heading home so that I can hopefully get some stuff listed. I did sell a pair of jeans while I was in the store on eBay. I sold a pair of Judy Blue jeans. Um, they were like a skinny leg style with a cuffed hem and I think they sold full price for $30. If not, they sold for $25. I can't remember um, off the top of my head and I can't look at my phone because that's what I'm filming on. Um, but now I have a 100% sell through rate with that brand. So thank you to Amber Resells for sharing that brand. I had never heard of it before. I've now sold like four or five pairs of jeans and one pair of shorts from that brand. So it is something to look out for. It doesn't generate a whole lot of money, um, but they do tend to sell pretty fast for me. So happy to make sales especially considering i haven't really been listing anyway lots of people are walking by my car and probably watching me talk to myself and i still have a bit of anxiety with filming in public so i'm gonna go into lowe's and i will see you guys in there All right, well, that was a bust. Um, I returned the other sprinkler, but they didn't have anything that was going to work for my yard. They barely had any options. I mean, I know it's technically fall now, but this is the time when people plant stuff. So I expected, I guess, more variety. So, um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I will go to a different type of hardware store um, and see what they might have that could work a little bit better. Maybe a little bit better quality stuff. Don't know. I'm new to this whole doing yard work slash DIY landscaping type of stuff. I do also need to get lawn soil and some seed to fix a few areas um, that they didn't get to when they did the aeration and seeding in my yard because I had to move some stuff that was there. So I'll probably do that tomorrow and then I just heard back from my friend whose birthday is next week and they want to do dinner tonight for their birthday. So I'm going to go do that. I think we're going to get some sushi, which I love. and. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll get to any listing today, but thank you for coming with me. I may extend this a little bit into tomorrow, so more like a weekend work with me thing. We'll see. If not, and this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and coming along to work with me. I do feel like I did get a good bit of stuff done. I did take a bunch of photographs, got things shipped out so they didn't have to wait until Monday, and inventoried some things. So I call that a success. And if I don't see you guys until tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful evening and you guys will see me in a few seconds. Two days later. All right guys, so after I last spoke to you, which was Saturday afternoon, I had just gone to Lowe's. I mentioned that um, I was gonna go meet my friend for dinner to celebrate their birthday. So I did that. Um, we got our sushi delivered by a robot cat. It was awesome. I was so excited about it. Thank you. 
And fast forward to it's now Monday. Um, I am on my lunch break from work. Uh, yesterday was kind of a wash. I had to run a bunch of errands. I went down to my antique booth um, to see what I had sold to and bring a couple of new things. I had to go grocery shopping. I, um, what else did I do? Oh, I spent like five hours um, doing some DIY landscaping at my house and that took way longer than expected. So I'm just now able to sit down and get some stuff listed. So I have about a half hour for my lunch break. Um, and I'm going to try and list as many of these things that I photographed on Saturday as I can. I also wanted to tell you that I made a couple sales. Um, on eBay, I sold this sus boy and little peep tea for $50. I had it listed for 60. They sent an offer of $35 originally and I counted with 50, which they accepted. Uh, I think I paid like four, four or five dollars for that. I also sold a Lululemon red tank top. I couldn't figure out the style of this because there are like a thousand different tank tops on Lulu Fanatics. Um, I don't, I don't know. So I just kind of listed it with as much description as I could give. And this sold for $12. I'm only picking up Lulu tanks that are priced at $5 or under. Um, I couldn't find the exact price on this when I looked it up, but it had to have been $5 or under. And then the last sale on eBay, I sold an Eileen Fisher green short sleeve tee. This was a size 2X. I got this at the garment district when I went. My cost of goods was zero and it sold for $16. I'm not sure of the fabric content on this because that part was cut out. It kind of felt like organic cotton, which would be on par for Eileen Fisher. And I think honestly what sold it was the size because it was a 2X. Also on Poshmark, I had another three sales over the weekend. I sold this new Tags Victoria's Secret Blue Bella Bra. This came in the thread up sleepwear box. I think my cost, because there's only four items in that box and it costs I think $24 plus $5.99 shipping. So $29.99 divided by four, I think it's like $7.50. Um, and that sold for $28 on Poshmark. Um, Next, I sold a Levi's Wedgie Straight. These were a small size, a size 24, and these sold for $40. I think I had them listed at 50 and they sent me a $40 offer. Happy to accept that. Uh, I think I paid around $7, $7.59, something like that. And the last item to sell over the weekend was a new with tags, Lulu's Awaken Maxi Dress. This I got in a small inventory buyout I did um, from someone who used to live local to me and uh, they moved uh, across the country so they sold off a bunch of their inventory. I grabbed about 14 pieces. This is only the second one to sell. Um, I did also make a third sale on one of these items on eBay this weekend but they haven't paid yet so I'm not going to talk about that. But this Lulu's dress sold for $67. My cost of goods was just over $7 for all 14 of those pieces. Uh, so yeah, that's the sales and let me get to listing and you guys will see the sped up footage so I'm not taking up too much of your time.
real talk, I had about 30 minutes, a little bit less because I, you know, spent a few minutes going through an introduction kind of on this segment. Um, I listed three things to eBay and then cross-listed those same three things manually to Poshmark. So basically six items in that roughly 30 minutes. Not great, but I will continue to get the rest of these things listed um, during my next break from work, after work, until everything is done and I can cross off all of these things that I photographed on Saturday and be done with them. They're already in the shed, ready to go. Hopefully they will sell quickly. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for coming along and working with me. I think it's important to kind of show what it's really like to be a part-time reseller because we can't invest as much time, obviously, um, in our resale business. So I think it's helpful for some of you out there who might be part-time as well. Maybe it's helpful for some of you who are full-time to kind of see how other people do their processes. My battery is about to die, but either way, thank you so much to each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you for tuning into my videos every week. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at any time or just want to further support my channel. I would appreciate it. It goes a long way for me especially, but I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.